Hi guys, so we're at the Seekers Trust. Um, it was very quiet here. We parked in the main car park, and even though it said online, you're quite welcome to walk around, there was no one around. Uh, we went to the meeting hall, and that was shut, and the office had a phone number. We phoned it, and they said, the office is shut. So we kind of knocked on one of the random doors of the cottages that are here, and a nice lady actually told us, yeah, we're quite welcome to walk around. The Remembrance Gardens, where we're going to first, is just over here. Then we walked back up through the main car park and there's like a wooded area with a lake with koi carp in it and the healing tree. So I'm going to spin you around so you can look at the rose garden, the memorial garden. And you can see all the cottages in that here, all around the outside. So we're going to have a walk around there and look in the healing garden. So these are all like the meeting rooms and the healing rooms and chapels and that. It's all shut at the moment because of the virus. Straight ahead of us through that gate is a garden of remembrance, it's a rose garden and from above there's a nice design. We won't get to see that from here. But if you look online, you can see pictures of it. It's a bishop there. We come down through here. The main car parks up that way. And here's the healing chapels. There's a little sign there saying about because the virus is shut. But there was a number on there we phoned. And we've got to be quiet in here. Oh, it's really nice. Shut the on it. So as you can see, as I was saying, when people lose their loved ones, they plant a bush of remembrance. And the lady was saying that once a year they have a big, like, little ceremony for them. But you can sort of see there's a pattern to it. So when you see from above, so we can walk around the outside, walk up that way. So it's a star. Back up around it, yeah, it's like a star, star with a circle in it, yeah. So, we have a walk around. I'm not going to walk on the grass. It's all like little healing rooms and sanctuaries here. There's St George's. Isabella. James, Mary, a lot of rooms, isn't there? Elon, Elon, mystery. <laughs> yeah, these are just empty ones. There's a cross up there. We have got to walk along the grass here because there's actually no path. So we're walking the outside. We won't go on the actual roses. It's a lovely garden though, isn't it? Yeah. That building's quite nice as well. So this is in uh, Addington. It's just outside West Malden area. And the Long Barrow, the Addington Stroke Chestnuts Long Barrow, is just over the road. And as well as looking at that place, I found this place, just from the aerial view, I saw this garden and thought, what's that? He said we're quite welcome to visit. So it's quite nice and peaceful. Nice little bench there. Go have to have a look up here. I think that sculpture there's the man that invented the Seekers Trust I think it was I think I read 1925 something like that I haven't got my gimbal at the moment so that's probably a bit joggy so you can sort of see the outline now a circle with a star and then a cross in the middle it's a church in the background and here's the founder of the Seekers Trust. The founders of the Seekers Trust, by their works, you shall know them. That's obviously their Seekers L, Seekers Lee. There he is. Charles Adam Simpson.
So that's Memorial Garden done. We now can go back towards the car park. Instead, head up through the arches, past some white buildings, and we're coming to some woods, and that's where the lake is. Then past the lake, if we follow the path, is the healing tree. See, some of these roses have not got dedications to them, so ready for people to get them. Another little seat just up there. It's a lovely place. It's very relaxing. I mean, since I spoke to the lady, I've not heard, apart from my own, one voice. towards the car park now. There's another little part of the gardens. She said we've got to take a left here, go back into the main car park, not through the archway. She right down where we started the video. A couple of minutes walk. And we have to walk all this way. And all the time he's walking through it's like, should we be here? Are we allowed in here? But that's really friendly to be honest. Very welcoming. It's quite a few, I say quite a few, there's about six cars out here. So I thought there might be other people around. There might be over the woods area. So we've got to go straight over there, did she say? Got to show over that way. Oh, the white buildings she said about. There's woods over there. There's no way over there. Oh, there's, there's gates and white houses over there, look. There's gates and white houses over there. I think it's this way. This is it. Well, they did say white houses. Although the gates look locked. I'm going to start the video guys till I find the way to the woods. I think it's this way. Yeah, this was the right way guys. Just pull that gate too. And we go over to this one. You see it's properties of the Seekers Trust. Property of the Seekers Trust. And we follow this path. And we go through the woods, past the lake. There's a white building she was saying about. It's a lake over here with koi in it. And the hidden trees just beyond apparently if we follow the path. Oh, there's a lake over there, look. Just approaching the lake. It's a lovely, quiet area. I don't know who lives in these houses. I don't know if they're part of the Seekers Trust or people just come to stay or if they own them. Oh, there's a fish there. There's loads of fish over there, yeah. It's a nice little waterfall there. See the fish poke his head up out the water there. Oh, it's dragon fly. Oh, just flew off as I was about to take a picture. Oh, he's gone behind me there. Oh, no, he's gone back there. <laughs> Camera shy. That's the lake, guys. You sort of see the koi swimming in there. Quite big, some smaller goldfish there. I don't know if you can see that just there. Little goldfish swimming along. Might be a small koi, for those. Dragonfly flying across the water there. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's just landed there. A little bit close to him. It's probably 
get a focus in it. I think I've got him, I don't know if he's in focus or not. I'll follow this path or that path. She said through the woods, didn't she? But they're both through the woods. Yeah. Which way do you reckon? Huh? So Should we go down the main path and then if not we come back up this way? So we've got to come this way to go to the car anyway. Yeah. Follow this way down here. The lady did say main path. Yeah. Yeah, it said main path through the wooded area. I don't know if it's just a road that loops around the back of the house. It's, this is more like a drive, isn't it? And it goes back onto the main road. So I reckon it was up through this way. Do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, it's the main road down there. Let's go cut through here. <laughs> yeah, she said past the lake and she said there's a little signpost there, didn't she? Yeah. Big tree there. Yeah, but this is the. Yeah, in that big gap in there, yeah? Little bench by this tree, but it's not that one. It's going to be quite a big tree, isn't it, or like a, an oak or something. So we're looking for this healing tree. This cane needs some healing, don't you, Kane? Yeah. Big tree there. And wood there. This looks like the main path, so I reckon it is this route. This is the boundary here. Yeah, it seems good. Yeah. Which way do you reckon there? Straight? Straight for this, straight as well. Oh, yeah, I'll be found it. Oh, it is a big old tree, isn't it? So we've got the healing tree in this lovely setting. There's a bit of a dip down there. So I'm going to have a little seat there in a minute. Get some healing. And here's the healing tree. This big old boy here. Which I was wrong, it's not an oak tree. So we're sitting on that bench now. There's a the great healing tree in front of us. We had a little hug of the tree, got some of its healing powers. My HP's back up to 100. Alright guys, so we're going to leave the Seekers Trust place now. We've got the uh, healing tree behind us there in the middle. 